In an effort to clear his name, Alec Baldwin is suing the armorer and crew he says are responsible for handling the loaded gun he used that fatally shot cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured the director, Joel Souza, on the set of the movie Rust. The star and producer, Baldwin, adamant that he was told by crew members the gun had no live ammunition, alleging the crew was negligent and failed to maintain a safe set. His attorney saying in a statement, more than anyone else on that set, Baldwin has been wrongfully viewed as the perpetrator of this tragedy. The armorer in question, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, responding with her own statement through her lawyer, writing, Baldwin is solely responsible for the harm that happened. He rejected training and pointed the gun and pulled the trigger without the armorer being present. His arrogance is astounding. It's his fault, period. It was more than a year ago in Santa Fe, New Mexico, when Hutchins was killed during rehearsal for a scene in the low-budget Western. In an interview with George Stephanopoulos last December, Baldwin adamant he did not pull the trigger, which he still maintains to this day. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. But contrary to Baldwin's claims, the FBI, stating in an August report, the gun used in the fatal shooting functioned normally and could not have fired without pulling the trigger. Baldwin's lawsuit also naming Dave Halls, who gave Baldwin the gun, Seth Kenny, who supplied guns and ammunition to the set, and Sarah Zachary, who was in charge of props. None of those defendants have responded to the suit. Despite the tragedy, production on the ill-fated Western will resume in January, but not in New Mexico, according to the production company. Helena's widowed husband, Matthew, joining the embattled project as an executive producer after reaching a settlement in the wrongful death suit against Baldwin and the producers for an undisclosed amount last month. Santa Fe prosecutors now poring over the case, determining whether they will file criminal charges. There's no evidence that this was intentional. This was clearly an accident, but perhaps a criminal accident. Just because something is an accident doesn't mean that a criminal act didn't occur. Again, Mola Linke reporting there today. After a year-long investigation into the shooting, the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office has turned over its report to the District Attorney's Office there. That happened last month. Still no word yet on whether that DA will press charges against anyone who was involved.